Hello friends and relatives. Mrs. Joanne again today. What do I have on my head? Well, first of all, let's think. What color is it? Yep, pink, pink. And it has a what color beak? Black. And it has feathers. Yes, it's a flamingo. There you go. This is my crazy hat for today. You know, I've kind of made it into a crazy hat week. Yes, I have. Look, I've made it into a crazy hat week. I just keep finding all my crazy hats, and I figured I'd share them with you. So this is my pink flamingo hat. I pretended today that I was at the beach because it is a beautiful day. Listen, can you hear? I can hear the wind. I, I can hear a, a frog down in the creek. And I can hear a bird. Everything's starting to come out because it's a beautiful day and it's spring. I hear more birds. Can you hear those birds? They're all around me today. They're in the trees. I saw one down below in the bush over there. It looked like it was, oh, here comes Pickles. It looks like it was making a nest. So I thought maybe today we should do a, a nice happy song, something different. Let's do, um, if you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, clap your hands. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. If you're happy and you know it, then the face will surely show it. If you're happy and you know it, stamp your feet. Now the bird. If you're happy and you know it, chirp away. If you're happy and you know it, chirp away. If you're happy and you know it, then your face will really show it. If you're happy and you know it, chirp away. Now, I have been using my ears to listen. I've been listening to all the sounds that are outside. Can you hear them? So this book, it's called The Listening Walk, okay? And this book is by Paul Showers. He wrote all the words, he wrote the story. And the illustrations, yeah, what does that word mean? That's right, the pictures. The illustrations are by Aliki. And here's the book. Now what does it have on its cover. There's this cover. It has a, yeah, a little girl and she's walking. She's walking, it looks like, on the sidewalk. Hmm. I wonder what this book is about. It says The Listening Walk. And the girl is walking down the sidewalk. I think, I think this is, might be about using her ears. I think that's what it might be about, but let's read the let's read the story. The listening walk. She's putting on her sneakers. I like to take walks. I take walks with my father and our dog. Our dog is called Major. He is an old dog and he does not walk very fast. She is, her daddy and her dog, Major. It looks like they're coming from out of her, her yard. We go down the street and we do not talk. My father puts his hands in his pockets and thinks, and Major walks ahead and sniffs. <laughs> and I keep still and I listen. 
I call this a listening walk. And on a listening walk, I do not talk. I listen to all the different sounds. I hear many different sounds when I do not talk. Pickles, please don't jiggle it. Pickles wants to jiggle it. I hear all sorts of sounds on a listening walk. I listen to sounds I never listened to before. I listen to the lawnmower. Oh, I can hear, I can hear an airplane going over the top of my house. Maybe you can hear it. And I can hear a motorcycle. Hmm. Lawnmowers are noisy. A lawnmower makes a steady zooming noise. It goes like this. Zoom. Can you hear the plane going over the, the house? Can you hear it? It's getting closer. It went right over my house. I can see it right there in the sky. I like to listen to lawn sprinklers. Lawn sprinklers are very quiet. They make a different sound. Some sprinklers make a steady whispering sound like <laughs> Other sprinklers turn around and around and they go like this. <laughs> you know, it might be warm enough this week for you guys to go run in the sprinkler. It might be. On a listening walk, I hear cars in the street. The shiny new cars are quiet. They make only a soft hmm. But old cars are very noisy. Old cars sound like this. When cars go around the corner too fast, the tires go I hear a woodpecker. I can hear a woodpecker now. Let's listen. I heard a dog. There goes the woodpecker. Boy, we having a lot of sounds today. When cars stop quickly, the brakes go. On a listening walk, I hear all kinds of sound. A bicycle bell ringing. A baby crying. A jet flies over. We heard the plane. Jets are very noisy when they're overhead. A jet goes. A boy runs by dribbling his basketball. Bump, 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 bump. There's all the things that she can hear. Around the corner, men are digging up the street and they are using a jackhammer. It makes a loud banging sound. The jackhammer hurts my ears, and I put my hands over my ears as we walk by. I think I remember seeing a jackhammer in our class when we did construction. Remember? We saw the jackhammer, and we had a lot of tools to work with, too. Sometimes my father and I take Major to the park. It is quiet there, and the sounds in the park are not loud like the noises in the street. My father and I walk down a shady path. I do not talk, I listen. I listen to my father's shoes on the path. They make a soft sound. They go They kind of crunch. I can still hear that woodpecker. I listen to the birds in the park, and I listen to the pigeons and the ducks. The pigeons fly down to meet us. They want us to feed them. The pigeons puff up their feathers and they take tiny little steps and they come toward us, nodding their heads like this. And they say, boo, 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 boo. There's the pigeons. They like to nod, bob their head. She's feeding the pigeons. At the pond, the ducks are waiting. They want us to feed them too. The small ducks swim up close. They turn their heads on one side and look up at us, and the small ducks waggle their tails and quack. They say quack, 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 quack. There's the ducks. 
The big ducks are not so brave. They stay back and swim around in circles, and the big ducks look at us, but they do not come close. The big ducks say, quack, 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 quack. Sometimes, I don't believe it's in this book, sometimes I hear a woodpecker in the park. The woodpecker sounds like a little hammer, and he goes, rat -a -da 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 -da. There he is, if you can hear real close. In the park, I hear crickets in the grass, and the crickets go, peek, 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 peek. There's my frog. I hear the wind in the leaves and the whispers. It whispers, shh. And I hear the bees and the flowers. They go, bzzz, bzzz. It is fun to go on a listening walk. You do not have to go far. You can walk around the block and listen. You can walk around your yard and listen. This is, might be a good idea for you to do today. Even tonight. You'll hear different sounds in the nighttime. You, don't, you do not even have to take a walk to hear sounds. There are sounds everywhere all the time. All you have to do is keep still and listen to them. She's listening in her bedroom. Right now there are sounds that you can hear. When you finish this page, close the book and listen. How many different sounds can you hear right now? Why don't we close the book and we can hear them? I hear the birds. We heard the plane. We heard the motorcycle. We heard the woodpecker, heard the dog. So that was just five sounds that I can think of that we heard. So you have a wonderful afternoon and let's walk around and be real quiet and let's listen to what we can hear, especially if you can go outside. You can hear a lot of cool things outside. Pickles likes to say goodbye. Pickles, 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 pickles. say bye. And I like to say goodbye, and I'll see you tomorrow. Have a great day. Bye.